while I have been cutting down trees. That's what Emily did this afternoon. <laughs> all right, so this pile is all stuff we cleared previously. This was today's work. This pile is all filbert and rose that I sadly cut down. But I don't want to waste it because it's hazelnut. Uh, so we're actually going to use all of this wood. We'll cut it up into small pieces and we will use it for smoking. Um, because, I mean, there's a lot. This is all hazelnut here. This is all hazelnut here. These are hazelnuts here. So there's there's a lot. Um, the biggest downfall or down disappointment is that a lot of this had... I don't know yet whether this is flowers forming or whether this is last year's flowers forming fruit, but you can see all these little yellow buds of something. So they are either fruit this fruit this year or fruit last year. Um, but uh, yeah, see this tree here has a bunch on it too. So we'll we'll see where it goes. Um, we're pretty excited about all the hazelnut we've been finding, and we'll keep cultivating it because uh, that's just an amazing discovery. Anyway, so right here is where I was before. This whole pile is all dogwood that I cut down today. From here to the end of this little aisle is 16 paces, so about 50 feet. This pile here is all uh, dogwood, and I discovered, a, man, it's hard in here. Um, you can see a lot of this stuff is really broken uh, and, and rotted. Um, a lot of it was actually healthy. It was just in the ground. So what happens is the tree would fall and it would just start growing roots. And it would turn itself, the, t the trunk, into roots. Um, this is dead fallen, and this is like the tree that fell and knocked over a whole bunch of it. There was one here that fell and knocked over a whole bunch and it just all started growing roots. So, the point though that I want to make is that this is the path we, did, we made as we explored last Sunday. So this is the road, will eventually be the road anyway. It's a little bit moist in here, so we're going to have a bit of a challenge with that. Uh, you can see all of the, I believe this is called horsetail. And there's still some fallen trees down here. Ow. But see, that's all hazelnut. All of this canopy right here is hazelnut. And then we've got all the ash above it, but... Is that our angled tree that we're going around? Yeah. So the road will start bending and curving up through here. Where'd our path go? <laughs> Keep under that vine and then you're good, pretty good to go. Under, the, under the hazelnut. This is our wonderful discovery. The road will clear up through here, and we're gonna have to take this ash down because he's dangerously leaning. Oh, a lot of wood in that. And the ash is gorgeous. I look forward to using it all. So this is just our walking path for now, but this is a great way to show what we discovered. This beautiful little grove. So the road is going to come up around that tree on the far side of it. It'll keep wrapping up on the far side of this tree. 
and wrap up here. Now this stuff up here, this shorter stuff, that's all alder. So our ash trees end and then alder starts. And this is all rose and gooseberry. This guy right here is all gooseberry. There's some more gooseberry through here. Hazelnut is all of the low stuff. But see this wonderful canopy here. Uh, it's raining and I'm getting very little rain on me. Um, oh look, <laughs> this guy's a maple. Unfortunately he's leaning really dangerously so he'll have to be cleared out but that's kind of surprising. We'll plant some stuff to replace what we clear here but up here is where the house is going to be, up in the alder. The septic line and the water lines will come down right about here somewhere. Which means the power line has to run up right here somewhere. So somewhere right about where that tree is, we will build a bathroom. Nothing horribly fancy, just a small shower and toilet sink, you know. Um, we'll clear a lot of this shrub out. And we'll build a little, like where it's kind of flat here, we'll build a tent spot. And over here where it's kind of flat, we'll build a tent spot. And right here where it's kind of flat, we'll build a tent spot. And right here, we'll probably put a fire pit. Right in the middle. So, this area will be our little camp spot for friends when they come up and want to a place to actually spend the night and camp, uh, but yeah. Now, uh, over through here, it's a little hard to see. Uh, we had to go up and around through here to get there, but you can see we're at the edge of the pr of the of the, our first property, our 12-acre property. You can see all this tall stuff here. Okay, so you've got a bunch of little uh, dogwood right here. And then there's a darker green across the top there. That's all cottonwood, black cottonwood. And we don't want that. Um, it was a weed, essentially, 11 years ago. It blew in and overtook what they were supposed to have planted. I don't know if they actually did, to be honest. But supposedly they planted it. But this portion of the hill is just a nice, mild climb. It's not too steep. It's probably, uh oh, ranges between 6 and 10 percent, depending on what angle you're going up. And I'm going to bit my rose here. As we keep ducking, see, here's more hazelnut. <laughs> It just, oh, it's fantastic. It's everywhere up here. See, we'll keep these guys. We'll clear some of these dead guys. But, keep going up here. See now, I am not getting wet at all. Now, the road will go right up here. And it'll just wrap around. I don't know if you can see it through here. There's a pretty good clearing where the undergrowth has thinned out, and that's where our ash forest is, and I'm hoping I can get through there, get up there through here instead of through all the blackberries, which I can't. That's disappointing. But you can see the 
trunks have changed right up through here. So those trunks are alder, and that is where we want the house. And coincidentally, I'm standing under a hazelnut, and that right there is a catkin, which is the hazelnut flower. This whole tree, oh, is a gorgeous hazelnut. See all of this. Oh, I better zoom out. So, essentially, the view from the house will look something like this. <laughs> you can still hear the highway down there. We plan on correcting that with some uh, western red cedars and a few other trees to create a wall along the highway. You can sort of see the neighbor's house way back there. That yellow stuff is their house. But it's far enough away that some well-placed shrubbery and you won't even know it's there. We were wondering what this plant was. We okay. thought it would have bright pink flowers. It most definitely does not have bright pink flowers. Oh. So, probably a berry, but we still don't know what type. Interesting. Look how big the leaves are. Yeah. And that's one we... If it turns out to be edible, we'll have to transplant it. Because we don't want to lose any edible fruits on the property. That's why I was so sad to be cutting down all of the hazelnut through here. <laughs> 